So this is the white rhino. Um, they feed on grass. Mother and the baby. And uh, white rhinos are very common in this area. We got the water hole just behind. So usually this time uh, we see a lot of them in this area. Um, as I said that this one are grass eaters. The males they usually stay alone. Uh, females they stay in groups. So there must be many of them in this area because they are territorial. The male is territorial and uh, in a territory so females are allowed. They can smell very well uh, and uh, mostly hearing it plays a very important role. But uh, the eyesight is very much poor. Um, they can see up to 60 meters, but uh, where they are now, they can't see us at all, but they can hear us very clearly. So if look at them always, look at their ears, they're always uh, uh, turning all directions. So hearing plays a very important role. So the black rhinos, their senses are well developed, hearing, smelling, and eyesight. They are very much good. So this one they can even, like when we are on bush walks, they can even get close, maybe 5 meters, mm -hmm. depends. Mm. Depends where the uh, direction of the wind is going. Like where we are now, they can hear us clearly because the wind is, is going that side. But if you can come from behind, you can get very close to them. Baby's still young, but uh, about between five and six months. Oh, yeah. So um, when they are born, they are very big. They are born after the station period of uh, 18 months. So 18 months is too long. So mm -hmm. if you look at the herbivores, uh, the gestation period is much longer than the carnivores. Uh, because this one they don't, they don't hunt. So everything is just around them so when they, they wake up they don't have to uh, go for a long looking for uh, chop kick with the front leg and the side kick with the back leg and uh, it can uh, kick direct into the skull of a lion it can kill it it's so powerful the horns at the top so they are bald. That one is the male and also the color is dark but sometimes 